And I'm going to play you a, 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 the last Melly Mel verse I heard. I'm, I'm going to show you some. Oh, sh Let me pull this shit up right here. <laughs> Your boy Melly Mel, he struck a, uh, I guess he rubbed a lot of people the wrong way with his comments on the homie show. He was on the Art of Dialogue, and um, he had said something about the top 50 list. I think he said, I think, I believe what he said was that Eminem wouldn't be ranked as high as he was if he wasn't a white boy. And he said that don't nobody want to rap like Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, I think he said something like, M can't be one of the top five rappers or something because he's white or something like that. Um, and then as far as nobody wants to rap like M or Kendrick, um, <laughs> I mean, I would say because you probably can't, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it takes a special skill to, you know, come up with wordplay. Um not that, you know, you know, saying that, you know, everybody has their own, you know, their own swagger or whatever, they own, you know, get down. And it's just some dudes that are lyrical, some dudes, you know, create danceable hits, some dudes just want to speak to the streets, you mm -hmm. know, you got niggas who want to party, you know. Niggas who want to pop pills and, and 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 drink and party with the girls. You know, everybody has their different lane as far as music is concerned. You always got them cats, man, who were just, you know, you looked at as just lyrical as a mother. Yeah. And I don't take nothing away from them not being the average one, two, three, four. You give me kick in the door, I want some more type of bullshit. I mean, some of us have, have another plateau to reach as far as who they trying to get to is with their music. Mm -hmm. And so to each his own, you know, I applaud motherfuckers who can come up with them type of songs. And let's just, you know, it, it's a different, you know, rapping is rapping and then you can make songs and hip hop. And, and Kendrick is one of my niggas who make, you know, he make music in his hip hop. Mm -hmm. Like I said, he's not just a, you know, you know, one, two, three, four type of rapper, you know, A, B, C, D, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's some dudes who want to break it down, E, M, C equals two and all that type of shit. Yeah, you know, and, that's it, very much a, and that's very much a Kendrick and an Eminem. And to your point earlier, you said that a lot of people can't rap like they do. Them dudes got ridiculous cadences. They are, you know, they're above average, like you said. They're not on the one, two, three, four. You feel what I mean? Everybody's struggle is different. M's is different. Kendrick's was different. You know what I'm saying? M's is different. Melly's is different. You yeah, know? Melly's is different. Plus, Mel come from a whole different time. We period. come from a different time. So, you know what I'm saying? What you might not feel is your favorite, you know, might be to somebody the greatest. And that's what we got here, you know. That's the nature and the beauty of being able to have your own opinion. Have you heard any of the, um, have you heard any of the Millie Mills records recently? Like some of the new you've been trying to do? Nah, nah. I haven't heard any of the new I'm going to tell no. you this, and the opinions on this you show. listen to it, right? I've heard it. Okay. And I'm going to give somebody a disclaimer. The opinions on this show are uh, that of our own. My opinions are my opinions. Don't get on eight page talking shit him about some shit. I don't say it on here because I don't give a f eight care. I ain't no more rapper. I ain't got to like y'all niggas. Nah, you, you know, I try to be courteous with a nigga. And because I come from this motherfucking field. So I know how it is to make, you know, decent music and try to struggle with, with you know, just trying to come up with decent and good material that motherfuckers are going to be interested in. And, you know, and no disrespect to Melly Mel, but, you know, when you, you know, when you've been in the marathon a long time, sometimes you can fall off and lose a little stamina. You know, my nigga be in the gym, though. He be working out. but He, he be puffed up like a mother. But sometimes, you know, um, and I'm not one to say, uh, you know, a nigga should put down the mic and retire and shit like that because of your age. Because I'm the type of mother. If you can do what you do and you love it 
and uh, you got motherfuckers are telling you, you know, we respect it and, you, you know, we want to hear you, then do it. It don't matter. Well, Melly Mel giving his opinion, we going to be fair about this. I'm going to play you a, 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 the last Melly Mel verse I heard. I'm, I'm going to show you some shit. Oh, shit. Let me pull this shit up right here. I'm gonna go. We go see what they're talking about. This is what Infinite Mass. And see, oh, I'm going to go. say something before you play that shit, man. Hold on, okay. I'm going to let you say You have to... You have to be able to adapt to the times a little bit. You get me? Now, it's one thing in having your little signature thing you do, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, niggas know I'm Gia. You know, that's my little sh Um, But your sh still can't sound like you rapping in 1980 when you're trying to compete in 2023. You get me? And I don't give a who you are. Um, not saying that you know your subjects can't be talking about a situation you want to display from the past or whatever, but you have to be able to deliver that people going to be able to get into. And that's just one thing about me. You know, if you want to be able to have an opinion and compete in this day and age, it's one thing to have the respect of being one of the pioneers or whatever. But if you still want to get in this motherfucking arena and play around, you can get your ass socked too. You get me? Mm -hmm. And that's just how it is. If you want to be able to compete and you're going to be able to hang, you got to come up with new shit to be able to at least mm -hmm. get some of these people to be interested and listen to well, you. Well, let's see what Melly Mel working with right now. Was that him with the... Yeah. Was that him with the... Yeah. Was that him with the... the signature. Was that him with the... Look at 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 the... That's the signature raw. Man, if you go go up there doing the... Look at the... Look the... You need to keep your mother... Mouth closed about the little homies, dog. And tighten up your own... It's like... I got the ultimate respect for Melly Mel, man. The ultimate respect for him for what he's done. The message is probably one of the best hip-hop verses of all time, dog. Yeah, the the message was was something like, you know, uh, I considered the message one of those records that, you know, um, got me to want to go on that path of of telling hood tales. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They talked about the poverty and going to school and not learning shit, and basically they error as mm -hmm. far as trying to be, you know, black and whatever. But this era is different. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, you can have an opinion about, you know, Kendrick or M or, you know, but there's a lot of motherfuckers who think they great. You get me? And it's proven in their their music, their sales. You know, people, you know, flock to their concerts. You get me? Um it's just unfortunate that, you know, some people have those opinions where they feel, you know, they should be mentioned higher. And sometimes you just got to be, you know, you just got to be proud of what you've accomplished and what you've been able to leave as far as a hip hop legacy concern. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because, you know, I never diss the Grandmaster Melly Mel, you, man. You I'm one of the motherfucking forefathers of, of hip hop. And that should be. You know, that should be your comfort lane right there. And that's Look it, at man. all what has come from me being a part of this era that started and look at where it is now. You know, you got mother... You got niggas rapping about all kind of shit right now. You mm -hmm. get me? Niggas got all kind of different styles and that all started because of, of niggas like y'all. You get me? Yep, and ain't nobody got mad at you one time, big homie, for you doing your ugga da booga da. And I'm I'm not I'm not the disre you know what I'm saying, <laughs> not saying disrespectful type, because there's a lot of niggas out here who don't give a fuck about the nigga who came before them. You know, mm -hmm. and I never want to be in that position, whether your opinion is your opinion or not. Whether if you feel Kendrick is the 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 the, the thousandth rapper of all time, whether you feel like Eminem shouldn't be on the list because he's white, mm -hmm. whether you feel like a nigga who used auto-tune like Lil Wayne shouldn't be recognized. 
they are loved by who loves them. Yeah, them dudes sell a lot of records. And that's where you should take pride in going some shit that we started has evolved all the way to It's a gang of white boys now rapping. Mm -hmm. You get me? It ain't just, remember, back in our days, it wasn't nothing but motherfucking Vanilla Ice. Man, Eminem's ass, you know what, Beastie Boys and shit. By this time, man, if we don't want to acknowledge that Eminem is a bad motherfucker dog, dude, you just a hater if you can't acknowledge that. The motherfucker rap, the motherfucker rap. Do I let now, now, like I said, do, do I play Eminem music? I've played songs. I used to bang the hell out of Slim Shady when it first came out. Mm -hmm. You get me? There was a gang of shit I liked, and then there's a shit I didn't like. Mm -hmm. But and that's it, it wasn't my it wasn't my position to go, oh, this motherfucker can't rap because he a white boy. I mean, you had to get a nigga props. He could spit. <laughs> We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Extra chronic clothes, this is not.